In more local news, a local tech company has landed a major contract from NASA, a $23 million deal to be exact. But it's not a heifer company, not Floor or Battelle. In fact, you probably never heard of them, Sterling Technology. Matt Daigle is live in the newsroom, and Matt, where did this group come from? Well, Scott, they're actually from the ashes of Hanford. They do have Hanford ties, and they still make use of Hanford uh, area uh, projects like PNNL, that sort of thing. But $23 million aside, they say this is just the start, and you're going to start hearing a lot more from Sterling Technologies. You may not have heard of Sterling Technologies, a high-tech company tucked down a side street behind Billy's Bullpen Tavern in Kennewick. It is time. We are, we're here. We're uh, moving forward. We have a number of different programs that we expect to bring to fruition over the next few months including a little government contract that'll send their electric power generating system to Mars. The technology that we've developed is about four times more efficient than the existing technology, which means on a given launch, you can get about four times more science done using our system versus the existing technology. The generator will power the Mars rover's sensors and help it move across the surface. It also has the eyes of the military, who would use the generator to support soldiers in the field. And for a company for which not even the sky's the limit, they'd be just as happy in your home. You're applying it to uh, residential cogeneration in Europe. And you can have energy available in the home to heat the home, to heat the hot water, to provide power for lights and the, and the like. They say it'll generate fewer greenhouse gases and it'll be cheaper. Technology from future space missions coming soon to a kitchen near you. Now, in terms of the local job market, obviously this is good because it's non Hanford jobs coming into the area. In the last year alone, Sterling says they've nearly doubled their workforce, and because of this project and other projects they expect to get, they'll be increasing their workforce as well. Live in the newsroom, I'm Matt Daigle, KD Local News. All right, thanks a lot, Matt.